Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I have, as you can see, my purse with me with all the needles for crochet projects we do and I also have here knitting and my other needles and some other materials such as darning needles and similar. So I wanted to show you what I have. Let's start with the needles. I got a lot of questions on what kinds I'm using and I'm in fact using the super simple stuff that most people can find in any DIY store or online as well. So you see this one for example, it has this rubber handle, but apart from that it's pretty much the default version you can find anywhere. This one in particular was ordered online, so some of you asked me um, if the rubber bands start having weird smells after a while, sometimes that happens with rubber, um, but I have to say there are literally no issues in this case. So of this kind I also have some other ones as well. So I have a green version, a 10 millimeter one, um, then I have the 9 millimeter one in pink, a bit different from um, brim this time, 6 millimeters, and I have a couple more from these. I actually have a bunch of 6 millimeter needles, I use those the most. I somehow an end up having multiple. A 5 millimeter one is here as well. So as you can see there's a whole bunch. Um, I also have a 45 millimeter one. Um, here another 12 millimeter needle. So the big ones are here as well. And then I also have these plastic needles, a bit lighter. They are also not bad to use, but I personally don't like how they kind of get slippery in my hands. I still do have a couple of those. These often come together with some yarns when you order or when you buy them, um, so don't um, be afraid to use those. I just personally prefer the ones with the handles. So yeah. Here another orange, 6 millimeters. One 4 millimeter needle. Another 6 millimeter and the 3 millimeter one. So you see, there's a really a lot from Prim. A couple of metal needles as well, so I also have a wooden one. And this one is a super old plastic one. And the XXL 15 or 20 millimeter needle. So you see how many different ones I have depending on what project I'm doing, of course. This is a 3mm one, so let's see. Another 3mm one, so I did some lighter scarves with the thinner ones, but you see that we keep having thicker and thicker, so I have a lot of the 6mm needles. Um, honestly, I don't know where the rest are, but there are definitely more. So this is what I usually do, depending on the wool of course and the project itself. Something between 6 and 9 millimeters is um, what I would use for most projects and what I usually like using. But we also have some exceptions like the XXL needles and the really thin little ones. So different needles are useful for different things. Feel free to let me know which kinds you use or if you maybe have some specific recommendations what would be super useful or interesting to try out. I'm really open for ideas. So my baggie is super old, you can see it's kind of falling apart. But anyway, let's get to our knitting needles. These are a bit newer since I started not so long ago. So you see how nice our baggie is this time? So let's open that up and check out what we have. So here are the tops or the points. For our missing, I am doing some projects 
um, as we speak so I'll show you that as well in a moment but all in all we have here needles with wooden handles some are colorful as well so I had to change these I had four in the wooden look but I broke them um, not because they were low quality simply because I'm still learning and yeah all in all all these kind of fit together I ordered these online but I bet you can find similar ones in stores as well depending on where you live so yeah this starts with four millimeters and 4.5 millimeters the missing ones I'm using as we speak are five and six then we have seven eight nine and the last but not least is the 10 millimeter one so we have here the pointy parts where the line goes so that way you can work on bigger projects and here in the back section we have the lines themselves different stuff in the baggies too so here is our four millimeter one and let's put a line on just to show you how it works you can even make it super strong on there so that it stays in place Taking off goes the same way, so yeah, let me show you the button-like piece that I use for casting off different projects. So a really cool trick to keep the wool basically on the needle as you work. Um, there are different ways to do this, but I find this tool to be really useful and it kind of saves you a lot of time as well. So let's take a look, here we see the length, 120 centimeters is this one and there are also longer ones. So I ordered this one, um, 150 centimeters and I got the extra stuff like the needle tool and the button pieces as well. And here I also have some bigger needles, so these ones are fixed with the line, 12 millimeters and then here a couple of other baggies with stuff. So yeah, let me show you the needles I'm currently using in the projects um, that are, yeah, let's say current. So here you see what we have, our loop scarf, and you see the line in between. And let me fetch the needles really quick. So we have here the 6mm needles that I'm using for the scarf and you see the connecting part um, with the line in between and on the other side, um, yeah, on the other side we also have the same 6mm needle. And here are the 5mm ones on a bit shorter line, um, so yeah. Depending on what you want to do, um, feel free to change the sizes and that way you change the tightness or the size of your project as well. Here we have the little baggie to end with today. So I have here these guys for sewing. Makes putting the thread on the needle a lot easier, especially if you um, are not good at it like me. We also have turning needles, this is a bit thicker one for weaving in, and I have a couple of other ones in different sizes, so as I mentioned, depending on what you are doing and what you, what, sorry, wool you are using, um, you will need different materials and having different sizes makes everything a lot easier and a lot quicker to finish. So yeah, here a couple more, a bit smaller or thinner. This one is awesome, so it has the stopping part on the end, others are just flat in my case.
So yeah, many different ones. Apart from that, I have some more safety pins here. So sometimes I use those instead of the markers, depending on what I find more fitting. Here's some white and black thread and the next pocket has the same stuff again. So that's all I have for you for today, the three baggies. I hope you can begin something with this and that you now know what you would use if you follow my projects and if you want to be precise. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to post any other comments or wishes what we could do in the comment section. You can also shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel for free and stay updated with every new projects that we post. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next project. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.